Hello, a pretty child. I have a blessed, blessed day. I just wanted to share a quick thing. Uh, I seen that uh, Hugh Hefner died, and uh, you know I've been thinking about this for the last two days or whatever. But I seen that Hugh Hefner died, and you know the first thought that came to my head was, I pray in the name of Jesus that he uh, somehow repented and accepted Christ before he died. Now, I'm not one of those that's going to say, well, Hugh Hefner busted hell wide open because I don't know that. I'm not going to sit there and say, I can, you can, we can't condemn nobody to hell just because we seen their lifestyle. We don't know what happened, you know, at the end of their life. We don't know if somehow a messenger came in the room or we don't know because God can do anything. God can give a person one last chance before, you know, I believe that with all my heart that God always gives us one last chance before, you know, Satan takes us out. He always gives us one last chance, you know, and, and, and he all, he knows everything. So I'm not going to be, I'm, I'm not going to, you can't, we, we're not the judges. The Lord is the judge. And, and it's not that God wants to throw people in hell because hell wasn't created for, you know, us. It was created for Satan and his angels. But if we end up down there, it's because of the choice we made. We made, we make the choice to whether we, where we want to go. How do we make the choice? By the way we live. If we choose to live through the gospel, is if we choose to live through the wash, uh, you know, through the blood of Jesus by our sins being washed away and us living. See, about the thing about the gospel is, and I'm gonna try to be real quick about this. The thing about the gospel is, when you are truly saved, you will live saved. Not that. Oh, when I get baptized, I can't go party no more. I can't smoke weed no more. I can't drink no more. Is is the fact that when God, when you are become born again, when you become born again, then that stuff will just start falling off of you, man. You, you, you your desire will change. So, but my thing is, and I've been thinking about this for a long, you know, for well, not a long time, but two days, the last two days, and I was like, my gosh. If Hugh Hefner didn't accept Christ or, you know, didn't receive, you know, then at the end of his life, when he stands before God, if you don't know who Hugh Hefner is, look him up. He's the guy that uh, created Playboy. That's what is that? Lust, uh, fornication, uh, you know, uh, lust and fornication and sexual immorality, sexual sin. That's what all of that is. Prostitution, really. Kind of like Hosea. But his life will judge him if that's all. When you stand before God, if that's all he had to show. Yeah, then, yeah. But we don't know. Yeah. Then he would have busted hell wide open. But we don't know if it, it last before he died. We don't know if he got that one last chance to accept Christ or not. So, but it made me think about when I stand before God, what is he going to see? What is my life going to testify you know, what is what is going to be on the big screen when I'm standing before God? Of course, the old is gone, the scripture says. So my past sins and everything I've done in my past, it's been washed away, washed in the blood of Jesus, washed away by the blood of Jesus. But now, you know, we need to think about that as believers and un unbelievers. We, if you're an unbeliever, you need to be thinking where you're going to spend eternity. And yes, there's a hell and yes, there's a heaven. There ain't all this other stuff that, you know, we've probably heard. But, I mean, we really need to think about when we stand before God, what is he going to see? Because the word of God says that we are judged according to our works, but according to what we have done in the earth. And if we don't live our life for Jesus, if we don't even, we have to live our life through the cross. That, and plus, we have to carry it. We can't just wear a cross around our neck or have a tattoo on the cross and think that that's going to, you know, somehow, uh, you know, think that's going to somehow, when we sin before God, he's going to see that. No, he's not going to look at anything like that. He's not going to look, you know, like that. That's not what he's looking for. He's going to be looking for you. He's going to be looking for your heart and seeing what's in your heart and see if it, he's going to be looking for his word. That's what he's going to be looking for. He's going to be looking for his word. He's going to be looking for Christ. He's going to be looking for his own self in you and what you've done for him on the earth. So we need to think about that. There's two things he's going to say. 
well done, well done, thou good and faithful servant, or he's going to say, depart from me, for I knew you not, you worker of iniquity. So what is he going to say? So now, you know, just hearing about that passage, and I'm going to read the scripture in a minute, but just hearing about that made me think about, you know, what, what God's going to say when I stand before him. So I strive to, I'm going to strive to live my life for Jesus. Amen. So I'm going to give you this scripture. It is in uh, Mark 8, 36 and 37. It says, "What For what shall it profit or benefit a man? What shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What do you... And it ain't got to be about Playboy or anything like that. It, anything can be your God, your family, your children. Anything that you put before God becomes your God. You know, uh, you know, your job, money. You ain't got to be a Hugh Hefner. So, I pray in the name of Jesus that you receive this message. And I pray that, uh, you know, you think about that. Think about when you stand before God, what is he going to see? What did we do for him in the earth? And it ain't all about works, but it's all about faith in Christ. For the works has already been done through the cross. But he wants us to live by faith. That's living by faith. Living for Christ is living by faith. Wow, I didn't know that. Wow, that's pretty cool. That, that was the Holy Ghost. I just now caught that. So living by faith is living for Christ. That means you live, you strive to live the walk as Christ walked in the earth. Full of love and, 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 and you know, love, joy, peace, patience, the fruits of the Spirit. So I pray that y'all have a blessed day and think about this message in Jesus' name. Amen.